Alrighty, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. It's been crazy. I mean, this is like 48 hours straight of me doing nothing but recording, man. There's just been so much going on. Uh, bro, I haven't been able to play Yakuza 0 in days, and now I am grinding World Tournament while we're talking. So, uh, we got some nice little news right here. Um, I would say this is certainly interesting. I always love this X, formerly Twitter. <laughs> dude, the fact, dude, I love that they gotta do that. All right, all right. So, uh, we have something pretty big right here. Um, pretty massive. Uh, what this is, I believe, is this is going to be, uh, j at Jump Festa, um, they are going to reveal... The New Year's units is what this seems to be. Now, we, many years now, like, we've had this happen, right? Like, we we got the reveal for um, Orange Piccolo and Beast Gohan. Uh, we saw the SSRs for uh, Super Saiyan Goku and Kid Buu leading up to their New Year's reveal. Um, PyCon and Jan uh, Janembo were shown at Jump Festa. So, this is just a common thing that Dokkan does. Um, this is going to be happening tomorrow night by the way so if you guys see um the time for me it's 5 a.m at, on the 15th i think that this takes place at 11 p.m my time on the 16th so uh if i'm not mistaken this is what 24 uh plus 12 plus 6 basically is is when this is going to be taking place right Wait, did I do that right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so, something like 41 hours, something like that. Um, So we'll see. We'll see, right? This should reveal the LRs. Um, I think that pretty much, you know, just kind of like explains that. Now, in terms of what... Oh, wait, wait, did I say LRs? It, it might be LRs. It might be TURs. Um, we will see. Now, I, I think we can probably count out global on this. Um, I do think that a lot of this does matter. Um, you know, there's other stuff like the Elder Kai banner and stuff like that. It, it does seem as though uh, Global and JP are going to separate. I would assume Global is going to go Super Trunks into Omega, into 1718, into LR Ribrian, uh, then probably into Gohan and Piccolo, followed by Joint Saiyan Day. So, I, I don't know. The, the sync does seem uh, quite a ways off at this point, right? I think Global and JP will next kind of reconvene in, like, you know, same stuff, same time uh, for Saiyan Day, I think, on March 18th is probably what we'll see. Um, now, if, if we look in this a little bit more in depth... Oh, apparently I... No, it's right here. It's right here. It's, it's just that the Dokkan Wiki and uh, the, uh, the Harry Turney um, Dokkan Info site, like, they have the... It's just the app icon, right? So it's, it's the same thing. Um, so it's also very likely to be movies, by the way, um, based upon not only the story events, which are going to be, uh, you know, chilling around uh, again until the 22nd, which as Rick right here says, is going to be the anniversary countdown beginning. Um, because of that, I, I think it's very safe to assume that movies, right? And then remember this, they're going to combine the Android 13 movie, the Lord Slug movie, and the Cooler movies, Easy Areas, into one movie, Easy Area. So uh, let's just quickly look at the history of these New Year's units. If you remove maybe anniversary from the equation... New Year's out of any time slot of the year might have like the biggest bangers, right? Like I I think anniversary is probably just gonna be number one forever, right? But obviously it's anniversary. But like I think New Year's in terms of like just like you know go through every year like pit that roster against another time slot. Th this might be the strongest. Um, one of that of course is kind of like we have two introductions from the last two Dragon Ball Super movies happened on New Year's. So remember last year was Beast and Orange Piccolo. To me, this did feel like the most hyped New Year's going into it. Obviously kind of a black cloud with Beast not being, you know, a real Beast Gohan. But I mean, it, it was still incredibly hype leading up to it, right? Uh, then the year before we had Super Saiyan 3, Goku and uh, Kid Buu, really good. Um, Kid Buu, one of the most unfortunate releases in Dokkan history where... He, you know, it's just forever. It's like, oh, when he gets this, when he gets that Majin power lead, when he gets that, that Buhan, you know, partner, and it never came. 
So uh, Kid Buu was kind of like pointless. Like he was good. Like he, you know, he, he had a nice little peak that you could see, but you know, it, it just ended up being very unfortunate for our boy Kid Buu. Um, then the year before, PyCon and Janemba um, really doesn't hold up compared to everything else. I mean, you know, compared to all the other characters, like PyCon is kind of like, oh, the PyCon sneak here, right? Like, but don't forget that part of the unit super attack is Gogeta showing up. So it's like, remember when they showed PyCon at Jump Festa back in 2020, uh, they were showing the unit super attack with Gogeta, right? Like make no mistake about it. That's what they were showing. And then funny enough, Janemba recently got buffed, right? With this first turn of guaranteed guard. That is a significant change for this guy, by the way. Uh, when he eventually EZAs, I mean, even if they wouldn't have given, you know, this, this version of Janemba guard, the fact that he now has that is so crazy. And by the way, uh, these two, PyCon and Janemba, their EZAs are on the horizon. We have several long-lasting characters, Tech Ultimate, Gohan, Janemba, and PyCon, who could be up for EZA sooner rather than later. Um, they might want to just knock Tech Ultimate Gohans out soonish, but I, I would not. I, I that's not a character that they were gonna want. Like I, they when a char like a character that had like a really dominant run, they tend to not like give them a second life usually. So we'll see what happens there. Uh, then obviously the year before Super Saiyan three Goku Majin Vegeta, I would say for me personally, this was the least hype I was out of any of the New Years was this Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Majin Vegeta. Um, I was not the biggest fans of their kits, even when they came out. Um, and in terms of hype, they, they just weren't the craziest to me, right? Compared to, you know, some of these other banger years. I mean, the year before, Blue goddamn Gogeta and Broly was insanity, right? I remember seeing the kits. I mean, it's still, it's crazy. Five years ago, this bastard was doing guaranteed crits when attacking. Five years ago. Like, this this ho holds up five years later. This line right here. Like, it's so crazy. Like, he was he was a nutty boy, man. Uh, then, of course, I mean, Broly has never gotten another unit. Uh, make that make sense, right? Like, people, people will forever go, ha, 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 Legends has 500 Beast Gohans and Dokkan has none. I mean, yeah, you can say that. But, like, you know, where Legends could really crush Dokkan, I think, is if they dropped, like, another one of this guy, right? Like, it's like, hello? I mean, Beast Gohan is still pretty fresh. This guy's been out for... The Broly movie came out five years ago, man. <laughs> like, how do we have one of him? He He's fighting for an hour. Do you know how many... They could make seven LRs out of him with all the anime... Are you kidding me with all the animations they have? He is literally fighting for an hour straight. Like... There's so many animations. They actually seven LRs of material for him. Uh, and then, of course, 2017. This was another crazy. I remember we saw this. The, the Our introduction. I mean, this is so long ago. We found this out. Celebration Info is, believe it or not, where we found this out. In, like, imagine, you know, Celebration Info, and we just see Vegito Blue and Rosé. It was like, oh, my God. Like, it was crazy. Uh, and what's funny is, that, I mean, this is only a year after they came out. Like, you know, the physical VB and the EGL Rosé were not even, like, like you know, horrible, like, zero characters or anything like that. And then we just had, you know, these behemoths showing up, which is crazy. Now, again, with it being movies that we expect to see... Um, I, you know, I, we could narrow it down to a couple of choices. Uh, funny enough, I, I do think that like, like these characters, I mean, this is not the Goku from the Janemba movie, but I do think like Super Saiyan 3 Goku with the, the twin dragon fist, whatever move they call it here. Let, let's just open this up. We can go ahead and, and actually get rid of this one. Um, the, the tech, this guy, I, I think that this guy they could do a modern version of him. Remember, this is not Dragon Fist Super Saiyan 3. That also could be who they do. I, I think Dragon Fist is a possibility. I think this guy from the Janemba movie is a possibility. Um, I mean, what else? Uh, Gohan, Bojack. Um, I think Beast, Cell Max, Orange Piccolo, Core Breakers. I, I think Broly and Gogeta. It, it, like, we very... Like, you know, T-U-R standalone blue Gogeta. Like we don't have either of these characters. Super Saiyan Broly full power 
and, you know, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Gogeta, we don't have a start of turn version of either of those. Like, just, you know, he starts as blue. That would be sick. I mean, I know they've done Gogeta a million times, but, um, you know, guess what? We could still do it another million times. <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, that, that that's the shocker. Yeah, please. Uh, my mouth is open, ready for Gogeta. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Gogeta for New Year's. I'm so on board with that. Please. That that We, we would love that. Um, again, we, we could get rid of them. I don't think we're going to see anything with them. Again, those two we could see. Majin Vegeta, you go away. You're not going to be a part of this. Uh, Janemba. I mean, maybe we could see a Super Gogeta from this movie, I guess. Uh, I certainly think it would be a little bit early for the LR Tech Gogeta to EZA. He's pretty far away, right? Um, you know, the... Because he's Tanabata of 2021, and remember, the most recent EZA character is still Nappa and Vegeta uh, from April of 2020. We can get rid of Kid Buu, and then this Super Saiyan 3 Goku. They've done Super Saiyan 3 Goku a lot in this time slot, huh? Because, I mean, remember, um, LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku Dragon Fist came out in 2017 in December as well. So, and actually, wasn't... Wasn't EG... I mean, this is a little before my time, but wasn't EGL... Dragon Fist, like, right around then, too? Let me see. Yeah, he was also in December. And then, if I'm not mistaken, at the same time JP was getting him, wasn't Global getting this guy down here, if I'm not mistaken? Uh, where is he? He doesn't have the link? Uh, I guess he doesn't have the link. Okay. It must have been before that link was even a thing. His SS... This guy's SSR... I believe was uh, debuted on Global right around that same time. Uh, okay, I, I don't think they have, but I, I'm I'm quite certain that this guy came out during that time. Um, so uh, yeah, they they do go to Super Saiyan three Goku a lot during December. Ye we have years uh, of of Super Saiyan three Goku in December. Okay, okay, okay. So that's that's a real thing that we could see. Um, again, I think Beast and Orange Piccolo are possibilities. Um, I do think Super Saiyan 2 Gohan versus Bojack is something we could see. Um, maybe Dragon Ball Z Broly. Uh, the, you know, the, oh, oh my god, dude, they could even do Gohan versus Broly from the second Broly movie. Because remember, Tech LR Broly could get a ZZA. I mean, you w could do good by looking at characters who are potentially up for EZAs to determine what could be it. But, I mean, for all of these movies, we could point to a character. Bojack would not be too far away. Like, he would make sense as an easy A. Um, you could even stretch and say Pycon or Fat Janemba could easy A, right? Uh, obviously, LR Tech Broly could easy A, like, for that movie. Um, I, In terms of the first Broly movie, though... I, I don't I don't think they would dip into 2021 characters, which is where that Int Broly is. So, I, I mean, I suppose if they did the first DBZ Broly movie, though, they could still just easy a tech LR Broly, right? Like, there's no reason they couldn't just do that. So, so we certainly could see that. Um, if they did... Uh, oh, 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 oh. You know what? Well, how can we find him easily? Oh, we just go to movie bosses. Dragon Ball Super Broly would make a ton of sense because this guy, yep, this guy right here, this guy right here could be the reason that the movie Easy Area is taking place. This guy, free, this free-to-play character, god damn it, could get the Easy A right there. I, I could I could totally see that, right? So uh, let me know what you guys would like to see in terms of New Year's. Again, very likely to be movies. I mean, they're showing it at Jump Festa, so it's probably going to be hype. Uh, you know, much more likely to be like Beast Gohan, Gogeta Blue, or something like that, over potentially maybe like Gohan or Bojack. I, I don't know. Gohan would be fire. I, I think I would be down with pretty much all these choices. I think a lot of these units um, could be really fun. Remember, it should be a dual Dokkan Fest. I don't know if it'll be LRs or TURs. I would lean towards TURs, but we'll see. Um, and I'm very excited because we're going to get our first villain character in forever. I mean, we got LR Tech Fusion Zamasu in August. And then LR Omega in July and Turles in June. And, like, that's pretty much it, right? Like, we, we have not gotten villains for, like, six months, basically. Pretty much. It's crazy. So, you know, let's hope that this villain is strong. We'll see. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, me, again, me and Gresh, we will be streaming uh, when this happens. Again, the 16th at, like, 11 p.m. my time. Something like that. So, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all next time.